Hello and welcome to Peacock and Gill. Today we're going to talk about containers, all sorts of containers. We're going to look at lining them, what to do when they've got no lining at all and they're porous. We're going to go from everything from trifle bowls to waste paper baskets and have a look at all the different things. So if you're going to make an arrangement, keep on watching because I think you're going to learn something. So let's just start with something really basic. Let's have a look. Just a normal plant pot. Really simple to use. You're going to put your um, foam inside or your chicken wire in there and attach it. It's waterproof. It's going to be absolutely easy as peasy to use. My that sounds a bit crazy, isn't it? Okay, I'll use that. Hello, and welcome to Peacock and Guilt. Today, we're looking at containers. So something we can put our flower arranging medium in, so our oasis, our flower foam, our chicken wire, something like that, and then we can build an arrangement around it. Anything can be a container. Absolutely anything. The name of the game really is to find something to line it with so that it becomes watertight, because there's only two rules with containers. It needs to be watertight where you've got your oasis or your flower foam and it needs to have a bit of a lip so it's no good just having a plate because when you make your arrangement the water will drain out of the oasis or the agri rock and it, it i feel like the plate just run all over the edge and before you know where you are you're going to have it over, running over the tables and everywhere so you do need a bit of a lip we also need to think about if you're going to use chicken wire, you've actually now got to put some water in it or fill it with moss. So we're going to have a look at all of those options as we go along. Simplest thing in the world, plant pot. It's already waterproof. Don't have to do anything to it. Fill it up with your oasis. Fill it up with your chicken wire. Fill it up with moss, all sorts of things. And you can make your arrangement in that really simple you know the water's not going to run out of it couldn't be easier what you could use is one of these little trays that you pop in the oven with your dinner in it this is a, a ceramic one and you I'm sure you've seen them before nice thing with this is it's got a little bit of weight so if you're not too good with the the sort of actual balance of your arrangement it will hold fast it's actually quite good in the way that it does hold a nice bit of oasis in there and it's wide enough that you could lay down and you just chop a bit off. The same with this one. As the water drains out, it's got enough of a lip that it's not going to go everywhere. Plus, you've also got to keep feeding your um, flower foam with water to keep it going. So every day if it's hot, every couple of days if it's a bit cooler, you need to keep, keep this top tarp. So having that thicker lip works really well, especially in the heat, thicker lip, more water. Something we have covered in our vase class was a jug. So just wanted to recap with that. So if you're looking for more of a vase, go and check out the vase class. This one, there's nothing stopping you putting flower foam in here. It doesn't have to just be a little bunch tied in with things out of the garden. It could be more. It could be an asymmetrical arrangement in here quite easily. Beautiful little curve in this one. All of that easily done because you could just fill that up with some flower foam. So nice and simple there. So let's move on to some other easy things. The promised trifle bowl, really simple, really high. Chicken wire, 
tape that down, you're ready to rock and roll. If you're going to use a glass container and you're going to put in a bit of, there's some agra wall there, you're going to put that in, you're going to see it through the edge. So if you are going to see through the container, what I'd say is line this with moss, line it with a big leaf, a couple of larger leaves out the garden, some big ivy leaves, line it round. So when you look through, you're going to see the leaf and not your foam. OK. Now, moving on, let's move away from trifles and move on to cake. It's a hard life being a flower ranger. If you've not got cake and you're going to do your arrangement on this, thing to watch out here is on this particular one, it's got a waffly edge. Where that waffle drops down, it is not going to hold enough water. It'll be just running off of that. So you're going to need to put something on the top. So we could go back to our trifle one again, and it could sit on there. And you could make your arrangement and just use this as a pedestal. But if you actually want to make your arrangement on here, I'd probably say go back to one of the little ceramic ones we looked at. If not, them little pots you get that you have your um, your takeaway meal in. Absolutely ideal to sit on there. You can strap that down. Fill it with your foam. And you'll be absolutely fine. Now you could, if you've got something larger, you could fill it with your chicken wire and you can make a chicken wire on there. That'd be absolutely fine. Again, it's that depth with chicken wire. You're looking to push your stems through and it to be in the water. So you do need even greater depth if you're going to go down the chicken wire route. Yeah, so that's going to need to be quite full up because those stems are going to have to go down into it. But look beautiful. It goes without saying, having done trifles and um, cake, that if we've just got a normal bowl, that is going to work ideally well as well. So just a, a, a normal bowl, a cereal bowl, and we'll make a great posy, absolutely fine. But if you've got something, let's see, a little bit larger, because you want to make a bigger arrangement, your mixing bowl or any size in between will be absolutely fine. Just because it's for mixing doesn't mean you can't put an arrangement in it. OK, Oasis sit beautifully in the bottom there. Your chicken wire would sit in there. You can line it with moss, pack it in, all sorts of things. You'll be absolutely fine with that. So mixing bowl, perfecto. I want to talk about smaller things now. So going quite small, just the little shell, you can carefully fill that up under the tap and it will fill with water and then you can push your flowers in. If you've got delicate fingers and not big sausages like me, you can even get some flower foam in there and then do more of an arrangement. So that little petite look, beautiful. Just be aware that it needs to sit when it's got the water in it. Just have a test of how it's going to sit. Now, if it is going to roll all over the place and throw the water out, you're going to need to wiggle it into a base. Now, that base could be something really simple, a little tray with some sand on it. If you don't have sand, some rice or some lentils, just enough to sort of wiggle it down a little bit. If you've got none of that, some of your flower foam, cut into a little square, scoop out the middle with a spoon, and then it will sit in there and it'll be, you'll be fine, it'll be actually fine. But any decorative item from around the home, provided it's not going to go rusty and it's watertight, you're absolutely fine with it. I mean, this metal bowl is brilliant. You could easily get a bit of chicken wire in there and make a pretty arrangement. It's deep enough to hold more water. A bit of flower foam in there, all of that would work perfectly. Then on to one of my favourite things at the moment. Jelly, oh I'm onto jelly now. I'm working my way around all the food groups. Jelly mould, I turn it upside down, it's quite stable. Leaf, get a long thin leaf, 
go round, flower foam in the middle, you're away. It's nice and simple. I love the use in that. Now, if you don't have any of these objects to hand, you might have a decorative box. Maybe it's come as a present or with something in it. Now this one is actually made for flower ranging. It has a liner and you can quite easily get round boxes, square boxes, oblong, all made for flower ranging and they all have this plastic liner. Everything here by degradable, liner probably isn't, so you need to reuse, but really simple. You get your, your flower foam, actually I'd probably get two to be fair in there. In there, look. What you will need to do, you need to have it higher than your container, especially if you're a novice. The more oases you can get, the more bigger piece of chicken wire you can get, the better you're going to find it. Because you perhaps make a few more mistakes than someone with a bit more experience and you need a lot of area to be pulling in and out things. So when you do use it in a container, go above the container quite high. I would say cut your oasis to there. So you're a good lump above. That means you can push things in the side as well as on the top and down. Okay. So nice and simple there. Oh, while I'm while I'm on that bit, let's bring out my friend Mr. Santa. A tray, a normal tray. It's got a higher side. A block on there fits lovely, really nice and simple. Pop it on, you're good to go. Now, if you're making this in situ, you probably find that you don't need to tape it down. If you're going to be moving around with it, I would definitely say tape it down. And just be aware that when you're making a bigger arrangement, you're using more wet oasis or more wet medium, it gets heavier. So where we looked at the box before, two large pieces of oasis in that's quite heavy and then your flowers on the top as well so if you're going to take this on the bus around to your best friend for a present it's, it's quite it's quite a carry so just be aware but this is brilliant because there's nothing stopping you now doing a flower arrangement on there and then you could fill this with cones or fruit a little scene for christmas all sorts of things you know some beautiful pebbles from the beach or some shells all of that work perfectly and you won't see mr santa claus because he's going to be completely covered by the arrangement so again nice and simple the name of the game with all of this is to make sure you've got it lined now lots of different ways you can do that so let's just have a look at that one of my favorite is the milk carton Love this, you're bound to have them unless you have a bottle. Get your scissors, really simple, it's really skinny plastic. This you'll be surprised. Cut round. I normally go about above the label, usually suits me, and you will have in best blue Peter fashion two bits of milk carton left. Da -da. This bottom bit will make a fabulous liner to go in things. Absolutely perfect. You'll be able to drop that in, all sorts of things, and it's pretty much the size of a piece of Oasis. And it'll just drop in nice and simple. Enough to hold the water. And what you get with it, you get this. Now, if you've got children, these wraps here are brilliant. Make a couple of holes in the bottom. Fill it up with water when you're outside and it's a very nice plant watering affair. And then there'll be lots of filling ups and waterings out. So that's jolly handy that and you get one of those tops free with every bottom. So really good. One of my favourite things to use is wicker. And the only downside with the wicker is it doesn't, it isn't lined. So I bought my this paper basket and I thought we'd have a little look at the different ways 
that we can use something made of wicker. Now, first things first, if I was going to put a flower arrangement in there and I've got some nice tall twigs, I could just pop a vase in. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy, but just one of the vases you've already got, pop a bit of oasis in that, and then you can make your arrangement. So we've got that way, or just fill it with water and do some lovely autumn twigs in there. Beautiful. So we've got that. Another way is just to get a Tupperware and just line it at the bottom. Really simple, really waterproof, nice and strong. Can't do anything wrong with that, can we? Big piece of oasis in there and you're good to go. Now, sometimes that still isn't an option and you've got nothing around the house that is going to fit that base. So, carry a bag if it's required. First of all, make sure it hasn't got any of the little breathy holes cut out of it. Otherwise, it is not going to work. I know it's the right size, look, because I use it as a waste paper bin. But in this instance, clearly we don't want to see it. We just going to tuck it in and around Look. now oasis in the middle just make sure you pull it back because you're going to need to water in there now if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about trusting one bag then i would say do two whatever you do and whichever bag you use just make sure you can you're going to need to put more water in it because you're going to need to top up your oasis. So you need to be confident that it's completely waterproof. So two bags, freezer bag, anything like that, big piece of cellophane, all of that will be absolutely fine and will work really well. Now, if, however, you need to do something on a bit bigger size, so let's have a... We now get out my laundry basket. So, it doesn't have to be filled with flowers, don't panic. What it can be filled with is cones for Christmas time, some logs, and then some lovely twigs, and then just a few flowers in there. So, we've still got to line it though. And what I do for that one, I've maxed up my carrier bag and got into a, a bin bag. Then push it down and tuck it ends round. And you're good to go. And you could fill that up and you could put all sorts of things in there. To be fair, you could put plants in there. So you could do some plants, a bit of flower foam and do a potty fleur in there. So all of that, absolutely fine. But line it first. Now, another thing I haven't talked about lining wise, we've looked at all, every bit of Tupperware you've got in the, in the cupboard. But if you've got a juice carton, you could cut round that again with the scissors. You could go as tall as you like. That makes a waterproof container. So there's absolutely massives of things that you could use as a container. Some things, clearly like this, I'm not going to be able to line. But what I can do is, to find a way of utilising this for my oasis, think about all those lids off of jars you've got. And you can just find an appropriate size one, which is not going to be that, in there. Put a little bit of oasis in it, and you're good to go again. So you have to think quite creatively, but there'll be loads of containers that you've got in your house already, so you don't need to go out and buy anything special. It doesn't need to be a fancy expensive container, providing you can find a liner that fits in with it. So it might be worth keeping a little bag or box of all these little things that you can use again and it's really great to recycle as well and the planet will be really really pleased with that so i hope that's helped i hope you can see that 
given the fact it's waterproof, we've got a little lip, which is our only rules, you can use absolutely anything. I do you know I'm sat here and I can just see so many things around me. You could use a bucket. We used to, oh, here we go. We used to use buckets when I was in the florist, the black buckets. When they got cracked or torn on the top, we would cut them down with a big pair of scissors and we would leave ourselves the bucket base with the lip about that much and all our pedestal arrangements were made on those because they were really sturdy and we knew we could pick them up and they wouldn't break or twist. So absolutely everything. You just got to get out there, make an arrangement and just do amazing things. So I hope that's helped. Thank you.